Hey guys, it's been a while since I've done these, so we are back. Uh, CrossFit Garage, I'm going to catch us up real quick on some things we're doing and then talk about programming. Um, I will say some things that you're not going to get. Uh, probably the best thing to do is just comment or text me or reply or something. Uh, if you've been with us for a long time, then a lot of it makes sense, but don't don't hesitate to ask questions. So um, yeah, just a screenshot of our gym. One thing I did think was funny when I pulled this up, uh, this was our old front room. And so uh, it was really bad. So uh, thank you guys for bearing with us for the years while I figured out, um, listen to my coaches to fix the front. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> programming. So the first thing I wanna say is Wattify does give you some programs. So if you look at the global tab on our library, they have got 665 programs or things that we could do. So they would their intent is put these in somewhere. These are known things from CrossFit and you know people should be doing those. And, and we do do those, not all the time. And you can see they're broken up like 10K run, 10K row, like that's not really gonna come up that much. If you were to click on uh, custom, you see that we have created at the gym uh, 2,974. Let me pause that for a moment. Okay, to put that in perspective, the gym has been open for 15 years, but we've been using Wattify for 14 years. So if you do 14 times, actually 13, wait, no, I take it back. It's 2013, so it's 10 years. So if you say 10 years times 365 days, uh, no, that doesn't work. Yeah, my fingers were fat on that. I got like 57,000 or something. It's uh, obviously, it's just 3,650 uh, uh, days since we've been using Wattify. So we have almost created a new workout every single day. Actually, let me do the percentages on that. So yeah, 80% of the time you walk into the gym, it's a brand new workout. So that's a crap ton of workouts that never get repeated. And somebody said, hey, Andy, why can't we have the perfect program? So if I actually just, well, my internet's a bit slow, so it may not work, but I'm going to Google, I'll pause you and Google it. So I'm just going to type up here on the top, uh, CrossFit programming by. All right, so you just start looking through the list. There are tons of CrossFit programs you can uh, buy, and that's just page one, right? So there's, there's just, there's literally, I think, 100 different places you can buy from. Uh, I think Wattify allows us to import up to like 16 different ones or something. But anyway, my point was that um, there is a lot of program out there. And the person said, why can't we have the per perfect program? And I said, really, the perfect program would be doing sort of what we did last year and then tweaking it because now we knew what we did and we can make it better. So basically, remove the things that didn't work. So when we program, it's constantly very functional movements executed at high intensity. So as long as you're doing that, it's CrossFit. And then we do, while we don't periodize things like, hey, there's a big event coming up, so we're going to cycle our lifting or whatever to hit this max loading at the event. No, we don't do that. It's just, it's, but it is thought out. Okay. So whether we do it internally, which we've done for years, or we uh, buy it, which we've done uh, for a while, or just follow main site, which we've done for a while, um, it is thought out. And there is a point. And if you skip around, you do miss things. But the idea is that it, it, it doesn't impact you negatively to miss any particular day because it's not a cycle. It's generally, it's uh, general fitness across broad modals and uh, time domains. So different movements and different time domains. And that's the key in CrossFit is its variedness and the intensity that we do it. Anyway, so somebody said, why can't we have the perfect program? I said, well, we'd have to like take what we did and then like just tweak it. And they're like, well, why don't you do that? I'm like, well, I don't, I, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. We just always write new stuff. So I thought about it. And then someone else said, um, if we repeated workouts more, we would see our progress. I'm like, you know, well, that's true. We do do a lot of repetition. And they said, well, why can't we do more? I'm like, well, I, we can give it a shot. So that's why we've been doing more repeats to see what would happen. And this is pretty cool. So if you, oh, and I, I will also talk about, let me put this at the end. We will talk about uh, the workouts coming up. That was kind of more the intent, but uh, let me show you this real quick. So we have been repeating stuff. So if you can just look from last year and you can see what, what we're doing, minus some changes, but um, this is kind of cool. So this is, um, uh, where was I gonna go with that? Okay, so if I, last year, so today, last year we did this workout. Um, and oh, actually it looks like I didn't do it last year. But okay, this is even more fascinating. But uh, so we repeated, this is, I guess I did this at the games because it is uh, a, an open workout. And um, uh, oh no, it's 13.4. So we did it as a repeat in 2016. So that's actually pretty cool. So 2016 is for seven years ago, I did 62 reps. 
this year or just now today I did 67 reps. So I did more than I did seven years ago. So, I, I mean, yes, either I tricked it and lied or I'm fitter than I was seven years ago, which, which is possible um, in some movements, right? So anyway, it's kind of neat to see those, that, that track, that trend. So if you, if you do these, you can figure out what can I do uh, better. I think the, the lift, yeah. So this lift was done, yeah, uh, almost a year ago. And um, you can see um, I did more. So I just did, in this case, there's only two pounds. But I knew, hey, don't do the exact same thing. Um, do one more. Oh, I didn't put six. I should have done that. But um, anyway, so you can look at, uh, let's look at, actually, let me look at the whiteboard. So here's so far doing that workout. We've repeated and people, you can see all these PRs popping up. So that with those stars, and it's only noon. So we've only had some morning classes. Um, let me pick another day. Um, wait. Now that I said, my internet has been acting up. It's, I don't know what's wrong with it. We had a bad lightning storm the other night and I think something popped, but okay. So here was some up downs we did. Uh, so a year ago, I did it in 740. Um, yesterday or two days ago, I did it in 707. So again, I, a year later and I'm fitter than I was. So does CrossFit work? I mean, yeah, look, yes. So whoever had the idea, why don't we repeat more stuff? I don't know why I never thought of it, but this has been pretty cool for me. So if you haven't been here for a year, then yeah, it doesn't make much sense. You're not really seeing uh, some of the cool things that we're seeing. But um, let's see, Aaron had a good comment. Let me find, if I can find his stuff. Um, well, anyway, here is, let's see the up downs. You can see people who did it from year to year. Oh, look, Pam, look at that with the RX plus. So um, Eric, so any of those people that did it last year? Um, oh, actually, this was a cool one for me too. So we did the back squat cluster reel, which if you were here for that, the back squat cluster kept getting renamed. So we had to like merge it all, but um, you can see all the uh, PRs there. So it's kind of cool. And some of my favorite is to see uh, my youngest one <laughs> throw down some some weights um so it's just fun to see kids do crossfit throughout their life um as i was talking to i think it was salar i wish i had this back when i wrestled in high school i would have been awesome anyway so the point is we repeat workouts um and now we're going to repeat them a bunch just for a few months maybe through uh um, until the summer catches up or maybe just after the open i don't know um but i want you to look at the workout if you've been here for a year and you've done that workout and do one more rep do one more let's see what was mine i did one more uh let me go back what did i do here so yeah so my, my last best was at this was um, 167 so i did uh 170 and um let's see on this up down one yeah so i did a little bit uh, more and then what was the other one we just looked at the uh, open workout course, this is spanning more time. I just, I try to do just a couple more reps than we did before. So here's two more pounds than I did last time. So anyway, it's progress. I'm moving upwards, even though I'm getting old. So I don't think you can fight time, but you can fight decay. Okay. So all that being said, what is our programming looking like coming up? Um, Wattify doesn't give us a great way to view this. Unfortunately, they, they've changed what they've done. So just bear with me as I fiddle through their new format. So uh, next week, we do have, um, so you'll see an imam with some rowing, some air squats. Um, the open is coming, so you'll see some of the stuff be a little bit less strenuous. Um, then we've got uh, sus warm up and then the back squat cluster. So we've been doing that and you'll see that pop up some more. And it says real because I had to merge them all. So just make sure you're keeping track. Um, the Metcon is calories wall ball. We've done this before. <clears throat> so when you look at something like this, you may not know what we're trying to get out of it. Okay, so it's as many rounds as possible in nine minutes. It's a couplet. There are two movements. Um, essentially, one is a push and one is a pull. This is classic, right? So the row, I'm, uh, uh, well, I, I'm, I guess I'm extending with my legs both times, right? But in this case, arms are uh, pull, and then down here, arms are pushed. The legs are still creating that lift. But um, if you look at the numbers, 12 calories, yeah, I can I can sit down and just hammer that out. 12 wall balls. Okay, that one's interesting. I can usually do 10 without breaking. So 12, do I do this unbroken? Hmm, I don't know. It's only nine minutes. So what does nine minutes say? This should be a sprint. So it shouldn't be, well, I get on the rower and I play around, then I get on the wall balls and I, you know, I, I, I do a set of like three, three, and three, right? So if anything, I want to adjust the weight and maybe drop the calories down a little bit so that I can keep sprinting. So that the intent 
the stimulus of this workout is there's nothing crazy heavy. You're going to be able to move quickly. Your legs may get a little gassed, but it's not heavy enough. I'm just pushing on the rower and then a, a wall ball. It's not heavy enough that it should kill you, but you should be able to move for a nine minute. So it should be, um, I get to this, that 12 number. I'm like, should I do 12? I don't know. So I probably will do 12 and then see how much I can. Uh, well, actually what I'll probably do is look at what I did last time because I have notes. Let me go look at that real quick. And then I can tell myself what I should do. Okay, this is unfortunate. I didn't actually give myself notes. So I always write some notes. So I don't know what I did. So it would have been great to tell myself. But I do know this. I'm going to try to do six rounds and five. So I should have given myself better notes. Um, knowing me, I uh, try to do it straight through. Because it, it, there was no weight to it. When it's weighted, I always drop. Anyway. So the idea is to push hard on that one, right? So there isn't much resting. The rest is walking between the rower and the um, wall ball. So again, you may decide to prioritize uh, uh, the lifting. I've said this to many people in my classes. You may decide to prioritize the lifting over the uh, wall ball. Actually, as a matter of fact, I'm not even sure I did the lifting. Let me go back and look for that. Yeah, it looks like I didn't even do the lifting for whatever reason. Maybe my, I know I've had trouble with my back, so I could have been avoiding it. <clears throat> so... I do not prioritize lifting. Yes, I do lift, and um, 135 is plenty heavy for me, but I, I shy away from one rep maxes and stuff because at 50, I know what moves the needle, needle and I don't need to impress people. So uh, you know, one rep max, eh. Um, plus, it's not my forte anyway. My one rep maxes are most people's warm-up weights <laughs> for most things, especially arms. Anyway, um, okay, so the next day, so that was uh, 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 Monday, so then Tuesday, um, so we've got, so why are we seeing more um, double unders in workouts? So, you know, the, the, why would we see things? Why do we program what we program? In this case, you're seeing things like uh, burpee over the bar and double unders come up because it's in the, uh, uh, the open. They're going to put it in there. We did throw in an RX plus of bar muscle ups because it's usually in there. Like, Hey, we do a certain amount of work. There's going to be some pull-ups and then next round, it's not pull-ups, it's chest of our pull-ups. And then next round it's muscle ups. So <clears throat> anyway, so we're looking at this one. Uh, okay. So this pushes the other side of time domain and, um, it's still body weight. So that's, uh, um, and the runs are kind of on the shorter side, but then there's a skill set. We get we talk about the double unders and then push ups. I probably would have changed those to hand relief push ups because that's what's going to be in the open. But you look at this and you're like, okay, that's 21 minutes of movement. Um, what do I do? I push incredibly hard. I mean, that's 21 minutes. I, I think at that point you're like, I can't really push incredibly hard for 21 minutes. It's just, you know, you you utilize that fight or flight. Um, uh, glycogen, phosphogen phases, and you need to move into the aerobic side rather than anaerobic. So this is going to be something more like, um, it's that classic ramp. So the workout is going to be, um, you know, it's, if you watch my mouse, it's going to taper up and then fall off. So basically as you get near the last round, you're probably going to be dropping back down. So I'm figuring out how much do I have in the tank? How fast can I go? Can I ratchet it up and maintain? Can I ratchet it up and maintain? Can I ratchet it up and maintain? Okay, I think I found it. I'm going to skip it this. Okay, and there I start going back down. So it would look like a, um, uh, you know, a check mark upside down. Then we're bringing back, well, not bringing back, but you'll see more of these finishers. So there's some um, uh, low, intense, low intensity. Just get yourself moving. Um, stretch out in some cases. So you'll see these come back up. I do recommend that everybody logs everything in these, um, the, we call them bright spots. It's just cool things that happen in the workout. It's not necessarily the workout. You could obviously log this 200 double under push up, but we want to be able to log if you want to put your time in for your 100 or 200 meter run or your double under. It gives you more things to track to see how you're doing, how you're progressing. This is what we did because we did not repeat the workouts all the time. So in order to find how you were improving, we can look at the little nuancey stuff in the workout. Let me go back to a coach's board. So do I have it in here? Yeah. So there's the bright spots. So these are the extra things, 200, 100, that we would add in there. And um, the reason to, uh, to add in there is... A, to track those little bits that um, repeat because we do these movements a lot, but the totality of them, the wad, the workout of the day, doesn't repeat. 
So anyway, it gives us an opportunity to track more things. And of course, repeating the workouts can help that tremendously as well. Let's see, where were we? Okay, so then Wednesday, my, so I got front squats and jerks. Of course, there's always some sort of overhead movement. It's typically a jerk. Sometimes it's snatch. So we're going to be doing that. Again, you could prioritize this guy and say, hey, I'm going to build really heavy, 70% of one, one, rep max, one rep max. Maybe. Let's see, right? Um, I won't be doing that. Instead, I would prioritize the workout itself. So then we look at this workout, and what is the intent of it? What are we trying to do? We got, <clears throat> oh, this is because the open does it. So we have dumbbell uh, step overs. So you have a box. You're going to step up and over it. Um, unlike my son, Evan, who likes to actually just use long legs and stuff all the way over it. And then we do uh, dumbbell uh, clean and jerks and some uh, toes to bar. So this becomes a bit trickier in what you're trying to prioritize. Um, if you're just going for, I want to hit the intended response of the workout, great, I can cover that. If you have a slant, like I want to, um, uh, my, my goal is to uh, run my marathons better, well, great, I would go a little bit lighter and just make sure you can continue moving at a, a steady, strong pace. If on the other side, you're like, hey, I, I want to get bigger. I want more muscles. I'm going to sacrifice my engine uh, or maybe not my engine, my cardio to do that, then maybe you don't use 50 pounds. Like for me, um, I have a messed up knee, so I will not use 50 pound box step overs because stepping down hurts my knee. So I know that, so I can't do that. So I'm probably gonna use a 35 pound or maybe even something lighter, um, whatever is not giving me trouble. So I guess in all things, be smart about your body, but I will trend or aim this uh, workout for my specialty or my, 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 my desire, which is don't get hurt. I may switch those dumbbells out for something a little bit heavier on the clean and jerk because it does come up in the open and I would like to get do well there. So I need to practice that. And if you were there today, we just did toes to bar. They're in the open. So you're going to see these come up a lot. The biggest thing on this is it's 36 toes to bar. It should be okay. But if you feel your hands getting um, any close to being torn, stop and just do leg raises or candlesticks or um, even sit-ups. So I look at this and I say, hey, the trouble spot is really, this bit right here, is, it has to be kind of slow because you're carrying a weight up and over and it's just not that easy. So you gotta be careful. It's on the slower side. I'll actually do this as an active recovery. And this is the part that I really am gonna struggle with, especially if I use 50 pounds. So typically when a program comes out, it's for, I know it's for someone who lifts a little bit more than me. I am not the standard guy in terms of uh, my upper body strength. So. This for me should probably be 45 pounds, but in the games, it's probably going to be 50. So yeah, I don't know. We'll see. But this is the part that I would probably struggle on um, is these dumbbell cleans and trying to get them all the way through. I would definitely be breaking these up. And then the toes of bar, I, I, uh, I'm okay with those. The gymnastic stuff's fine for me. I know it's str struggle bus for a lot of people, but toes to bar, it all comes down to that swing in the kip. Can I make that work? So when you compare and contrast these workouts, you're like, how is this different? What are they, what, what's going on here? So this was a couple of, uh, the arms are push pull, you got some legs in there, right? Uh, oops, let me slide back up to the right one here. Um, now we're running, so we're doing some gymnastics type stuff. We're also still doing body weight. The, the reps are low count, so I should be able to just fly through these in terms of, I don't, I shouldn't have to break up my push ups one, 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 right? I will probably do um, five and five and see if I can keep that up, right? Double unders, I don't normally do those. But anyway, the point here is at 200 meters even, I can actually go kind of fast. So this whole thing, 21 minutes, it's gonna be on the upper side of my comfort zone, but again, it's 21 minutes. So short, fast, long, but a higher volume of uh, like that engine speed, right? And down here, you're gonna get stuck right there. What are these heavier lifts do to me? Yeah, I can drop the weight, but now, you know, I'm kind of, just going back into this workout a little bit, right? So it's a little bit longer workout. And if I drop the weight, then is it more than, you know, like doing just a wall ball, right? So the intent is to change it and put something heavy in your hands and now have to use your body to move an external load. This becomes a sticky point. I would stick, if you can do it at 50 pounds, great, do it. Put the, put the uh, uh, dumbbells down as needed. But this is the part that's supposed to be sticky. This part, if you can do them, it's not hard at all. If you can't, yeah, it's totally hard, but that's not supposed to be the sticky spot. So if I were to scale in this and I'm like, hey, toes to bars is my problem, great. I'd just make them sit-ups and I would keep the weight as heavy as they're saying, even though you're looking at it and going, dang, that is heavy. Why? Because that's really what we're going for, lifting a heavier weight under duress. Okay, let me move on. Okay, so what is that? 
Thursday with the open coming, you know, pull-ups are definitely going to be in there. We're going to work on getting those pull-ups or at least understanding what we might do inside the workout. I, I've actually had some people in the open um, can do one pull-up. So they put one pull-up in RX and then they do the workout scaled. So that way their score is a one for the RX, which counts a whole lot more than um, infinity on scaled. So um, if that doesn't make sense, don't worry about it. But we're going to be uh, making sure that we have um, our gymnastic component, that swinging and kipping portion of the uh, pull-ups as well as toes to bar down. Now, I did say watch out for your hands because now we've got more pull-ups. So two days later, more pull-ups. How many pull-ups? Well, it depends on how many times you get through this thing. Um, I would definitely break this up because at 24 minutes, it's again, it's a longer workout. Um, where is the sticky point? We're looking at much heavier than um, external load than yesterday. So this is going to be a sticky part, 275. So again, this this is me looking at our workout and what I'm looking at getting out of it. You can adjust it for you or talk to one of the coaches. They can help you adjust it. But I know that I don't like doing uh, super heavy deadlifts anymore. It's just not my thing. I've realized that moving the needle, um, you know, 225 is, is a great place for me. It, it moves the needle forward. I'm, I'm still getting fit. So I bet you if I looked at my uh, stuff from last year, I also did 225. So this will not be an RX workout for me for sure. Now, if it's in the open, I'm totally doing 275. And then I'm going to cry about it later. Um, the pull-ups, uh, I will probably do nine, or, um, 11 and 9. It's just my favorite way to break up when it's at um, 20 or you know that number. So 11 and 9 makes me feel, oh, no, the next round's just easier. And then the bike. Um, this, While I love burpees, the bike and I just don't get along. 30 calories. I don't know why, but it is hard for me to generate on this. So what would be the sticking point? 275 is definitely a sticking point for me, and I would have to be doing singles and stretching my back out. I just, it's going to, so 225, I can make it a, it's not supposed to be a thing. In this workout, the deadlift weight is not supposed to be, it's supposed to be intimidating and challenging, but not a, uh, a showstopper. So my max is 400 pounds. It's um, two thirds ish of my max. So what would I recommend anybody do? I'd say, yeah, do about two-thirds of your max. Utilizing me as an example, no, I'm just saying, hey, 400 pounds is a pretty big deadlift. 275 is um, uh, pretty heavy, but it's not, you know, in the world of, uh, of undoable. Um, so anyway, one way to look at those weights. Pull-ups, if you're going to scale them, look back up here and what was I doing? Do something. I would on this one do something harder because I would like to practice my uh, uh, pull-ups so I can get those. Um, and you know, down here is going to be a slog. So 30 calories is a lot for me. It's going to take a while. I'm going to spend probably almost all my time here. And uh, in 24 minutes, you're going to see me on the bike a lot. So <clears throat> I'm going to look at this and say, this is the place that is going to hurt me and eat me. And I'm going to try to not pause. And I'm going to try to keep that, uh, that cadence up a lot. The deadlift, I know I'm already going to drop the weight. For most of the guys, 275 is probably not a big deal for me. Um, it is. So if you take a standard guy in the gym, an average guy in the gym, they're going to say, hey, 275, I can do those one at a time. Okay, it's going to take me a bit, but not forever. Uh, you know, one drop, one drop, one drop. The pull-ups, um, most of the guys have some amount of pull-ups. I don't think that's going to be a showstopper either, but I'm going to say that everyone will um, have a, be on a little bit of a struggle bus here, except if you've got some of the longer limbs. So I think um, if you're taller, like maybe in that 6'5 range, um, or do you have um, squat legs that are just made for this? Like I have seen Matt Janda crush the bike like I've never seen. He has got great legs and a great uh, 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 height for this. So 30 calories for him, he's going to look at that and laugh and be like, nah, the parts that are going to get me is probably, actually, I think he could do all these pretty good. But um, 24 minutes. So what is it saying? It's a little bit longer of a workout. I can't do 10 deadlifts, like pop, 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 and then jump up and do 20 pull-ups, pop, 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 and then jump on the bike and use it as a rest because it's, well, I guess you could use it as a rest, but that's not the point of it. It's going to be managing the breakups here because on the bike, you can just continue. You can drop the cadence down a teeny bit. So <clears throat> just like the other day when we had a, a little bit heavier external load, you're going to have to figure out what is this loading to you and then how to continually push through this workout on the longer side again, right, to um, uh, uh, move this weight and still be able to do the rest of the workout. So it's, I guess what I'm trying to say there is um, it's lungs and weight. It's a combination. It's cross fit. So the challenge is going to be different for everyone in something like this. On the longer workouts, mm, who's got the cardio, but it's also heavy. Mm, yep. Okay. Then we move over to Friday. It is an open workout. So 
Um, knowing that these are just practices, I, I probably wouldn't um, throttle back. I would, uh, uh, this is just a practice run. Now, if it was like when the open is actually on, Thursdays are always going to be an easier day. Um, come in, move, and get ready for a, good, a, better, a, gooder, bleh, a better performance here on the open. So if you notice here, so you've got the uh, actual open workout, and then there's a scaled option. So there are always a scaled option. Let me just show you guys the difference between those. So in the scaled option, right, so the thruster, the uh, amount is going to drop, or the, sorry, the, um, the weight is going to drop. Um, in this workout. So if we look back there in the original, yeah, so it's 95. So we're still doing bar facing burpees because anybody has to do this, but they're going to change it um, to drop the weight down. So <clears throat> you could do the workouts scaled and they'll take pull-ups and they'll move them into like jumping pull-ups and they'll take toes to bar and make them sit ups and stuff like that. So it's a good way to scale and still compete and, and see kind of how things are sh shaking out. So what if I does a really bad job when you scale a workout? It, it doesn't know. If we build a workout that's scaled, then it knows how to track it. Okay, so um, this is uh, this can be scary. This is like um, like uh, it's burpee fran. It can be a super aggressive. Um, <laughs> this thruster ladder downwards <laughs> is it's nice because the work gets less. But those first twenty one thrusters, okay. Many people go into fran, which is twenty one fifty nine of thrusters and pull ups, and they're like, I'm just gonna crush those twenty one. When you do that, um, somehow I don't know why your life gets sucked out of you, and you. Uh, just it really hurts and you can't complete the rest of the workout. So I definitely would not do any of these straight until maybe I got to six or three, which even then, by that point, you're probably going to be hurting tremendously and that's not even possible. I wonder if I made notes for myself on this one. Let me check. Okay, so bad on me. I didn't actually make any notes, probably because I didn't beat my old time. So um, I got a minute 50 PR over before. Um, oh, so <laughs> <laughs> so I remember this. My burpees were so bad because the thrusters got me. I went too fast on the thrusters. So you can see by um, knowing that I, I said, hey, I probably could have used better notes. But hey, I was doing a burpee crawl. It was not uh, loving life. So I did. I remember this. I did less um, group. So I, I broke it up a lot more and was able to get a PR. Then I, this next time, I, I remember these now, that um, I said, okay, I'm going to group, instead of doing it like um, three, 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 seven times, I probably did seven, 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 and um, uh, obviously it was worse for it. So there's a place, I should have typed more notes, that um, is a happy spot. So who was it today? Um, Aaron and uh, Tom and I talked about this, like, when you repeat a workout, you get the knowledge base of what could I have done differently in just the rep scheme. And weirdly, doing sets of three versus doing sets of two or just ones is dramatically different in the long run, given enough time. If it's like, um, uh, you know, two minutes, they're well, probably not going to matter much. But if you're at seven, 12, 21, it's going to matter. So what was the timing on that workout anyway? Let me find that. So 14 minutes. And um, the part that's going to eat you is the thrusters for sure. That's going to be – so the idea is moving an external load. It's somewhere between that heavy um, deadlift, right? It's uh, uh, not 300 pounds, but it's up there. It's a thruster. And it's not a, 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 a dumbbell that I'm cleaning and jerking, a little bit easier movement to get done. That full squat um, and then the thrust above is, is a toughie. It would be great if I could do a thruster jerk, but that's not allowed. Um, well, I mean it's allowed, but it's not RX, right? And the bar facing burpee is just to make sure you get over the bar. They don't want people, uh, you know, chest to the ground and jump over. It's just hard to count people's burpees. Sometimes they don't jump all the way. If you have to jump over a bar, then um, you know you are uh, actually getting off the ground. So that's just an easier way for them to count reps. So the open workout, um, I'd love to go back and look at that. I should. Well, anyway, okay. So that's the programming. And then what do I do? So we had talked about like trying to iterate it a little bit better and changing things. So <clears throat> I actually go through all the workouts and pull out, make sure we're not doing like too many things the same back to back. So what is this? I got, I don't know. This is my new sheet. When did I start this one? So October, I started a new sheet. And I just walk through them and, and type out what are we doing? Um, does it make sense? Are there too many things? If I find something that I want to change later on, I'm going to make a note there. So if, if everyone, who was it? Uh, um, Joe, he's like, dude, seriously, no one's going to complete that. And uh, he's right. So we're, I, was, I can iterate it now. I can change it and say that was a bad workout designed poorly. The idea was there, but I should have uh, changed some time domains, right? Um, and you get it in your head. Sometimes you get it wrong. Uh, some other ones. Let's see another 
red. When was that? That was just the other day. So, oh yeah, that was because of the timing thing. And I remember switching this around when I coached that class, um, sticking them together. So anyway, um, the things I want you to think about, dang, this is already 30 minutes long. So hopefully you weren't watching this. You were just uh, listening to this while you did chores. Actually, I'm going to say that in the video or in the write-up. Make sure you watch the, or uh, 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 do chores and just listen. <clears throat> there, everything we do is done with purpose. Um, sometimes the purpose is lost or sometimes we forget to tell you the purpose or sometimes we've said it so many times that we forget that we didn't say it. So I, I did have somebody the other day um, – they asked me something. I'm like, that's, you know, it's interesting. I don't think I've said that in a while. I just forgot, right? So I did get a text in the middle of doing this. It was kind of funny. It was from uh, uh, Nick. And let's see, Nick Lubers, what did he say? Uh, we were talking about um, repeating workouts and saunas. And he said uh, he's now two for two. Um, so two days, he's done two PRs uh, uh, both days because we've been able to see what we've done. So it's already working, so hopefully you guys who've been here for a while um, can see this and look at your scores and appreciate it. I'd love to see, um, what was it, this morning with this open workout, both uh, Tom and Aaron and I had our numbers in our minds and we all blew past it. Unfortunately, Tom was facing the wrong way, and Aaron knew he was one rep ahead. So um, lesson learned, now Tom knows to look at uh, his uh, competition. <laughs> all right, y'all be good. I'll try to do this each week. Take care.